Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you task number 5. Let's go and see what is the task number 5. Task number 5, I am going to show it to you how to change the date and time settings. But before you are going to change the date and time settings, make sure that your PBX has to be accessed the internet. Why? Because? Because in your PBX, by default, there is an NTP server is configured. Let's go and see it first. So, access your PBX. Type the username and password. So to change the date and time settings, go to the settings. Then you can able to see here date and time. And if you notice here the time zone, by default it's selected as the United States. So right now I'm in Dubai, so I need to select as plus four. Just go down. Now you can see here United Arab Emirates. Then after that, if you notice here, there is pool.ntp.org, which is your NTP server. So your time is going to synchronize with your NTP server. So make sure that your PBX is accessed to the internet. So you can click save. Now it will ask you to reboot. But what I'm going to do, don't reboot it now at the moment. So simply you can say no. Then after that, what you can do, you can check whether you are able to access the internet or not. For that, you just go to the maintenance. Then after that, click on the troubleshooting. Then if you see here, there is a ping tool over there. Just go to IP ping. Then after that, specify here the host name. So let's say that I want to test pool.ntp.org. Then after that, click start. If you have a internet access, you can able to see the perfect reachability. Now I have internet access, so I no need to worry about it. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to close this window. In case if you want to reboot, because it's always recommended that whenever you change the date and time, make sure that you need to reboot it. So now go back to the settings, then click on date and time. Then after that, if you see here, still the time has not changed properly. So click on save. Now you can click yes. So it's going to take some time. So meanwhile, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the command prompt. Then I'm going to keep continuous ping to my PBX. So it's rebooting now. So wait for some time. Once it will come back, then you can able to access. Now you can able to see I have a reachability, but still it's going to take one more minute. After that, I can able to access my PBX. So you can see here by default, my PBX has rebooted and it has come back now. Now I can able to log in with my default username and password. Now for verification, I need to go to the settings then click on the date and time, then you can able to see the right time and date. So thank you for watching. In the next video, I'm going to show it to you how to do the changes of my laptop policy, how to do the settings as for my laptop policy. For sales, please send us an email sales at datawise.com.